After three days of brainstorming and lectures delivered by several keynote speakers on topical national issues, the All Nigerian Editors Conference comes to a close in Yenagoa. <music> to help them unwind after their brain racking sessions, chief host of the conference and governor of Bayosu State, Doe Diri, organized a gala party for members of the Editors Guild. Governor Dili expressed gratitude for the choice of Yenagua as venue for the conference and used the opportunity to reaffirm commitments to living an enduring legacy and governance. And I believe that we are doing our best and will continue to do our best in the remaining uh, three years so that uh, when we leave, uh, the states will continue to feel our impact as those who have also traveled through these eight years in serving the people of Bayelsa State and by extension, Nigeria. The people are benefiting from your prosperity. Your road network is not about asphalt. And you are not complaining of lack of bitumen. You are not saying there are no cement. You are not saying the rainy city is affecting construction. Bayelsa State is benefiting from good road network. All I want to say on behalf of my colleagues, keep it up. Let the people continue to enjoy you. In response to requests made by the president of the Nigerian Guild of Editors, Eze Anaba, in his address, Governor Diri promised to institute an annual lecture to immortalize the first editor of the Nigerian Daily Times, Ernest Ikoli. The president has requested that we institute an annual lecture and that request is granted. So we are going to work with the Nigerian Guild of Editors to have our maiden NSE Koli annual lectures by 2025. Your support reinforces the importance you attach to a free and responsible press. Some high points of the occasion attended by media stakeholders and top government functionaries include presentation of an award to Governor Diri and induction of new members. Theophilus Agidi, Arise News.